In this video, I'll show you how to set up your business in Canada step by step. That is Federal Incorporation or Named Incorporation. I will show you how I filled this application. So without wasting time, let's go to the computer screen page where you have all information related to the services for incorporation. Now, if you have to file annual return, this is mandatory thing. This is not income tax return, but annual return where you update your address. If something has changed, you update that. I've made a video on how I have done. You can go and check at your own time. Now, for you to incorporate, it costs $200. You can go for an express service. I went for $200 service. Uh, I did not go for express, which cost additional $100. And I got within one or two days after I submitted my application. Now, all the services related to incorporation is listed here. And you can see the charges which you directly pay to the government. Okay. So everything is listed here, which you can see. Some of them are free. Some of them are paid. And I have not used all of them. As and when it is necessary, you can come check the service and then go and initiate. Okay, so this is the place where you find all service and its associated cost. This will clear your doubt on what the expense will be. Many things you can view and change for free. Uh, if there is something to be done, there's a very nominal fee which you can see. So take time to go through this. Now let's come to this page. This is how to incorporate business. Okay, so take time to go through this, how to name your corporation, create your article of incorporation. I'll be showing step by step on how I have done. And uh, thanks for the uh, response, which I have got over almost three years. Uh, you'll get to see this with all the recent changes, which has happened. Okay. There is no much change. If you watch my previous video, you'll be able to do that. But uh, I am just repeating this video because there is only one change which is not very significant it's very easy to do okay so you can go through at your own time now coming to this page here you get to see the detail on federal incorporation this is the place where you come and click to start filling your application link again is in the description take time to go through benefit eligibility detail uh, whether it is a business not for profit so let's come to this page. Once you are on this page, this is something new, which was not there when I had initiated. You will have to create your ISED account. Very simple. Once you go through, you will have to give your basic detail and uh, create this account. You will get a link to the email, which you have to activate. Very simple. Just go through this and you will be able to create. And once you create, you will be able to log into your GC key. Now, GC key, I'm sure you would know if you have done your PR process. Uh, this GC key will allow you to log in and you'll have to create GC key after coming here. Okay. So once you continue, you come to this page. This is where the GC key link is. Once you click here, you come to this sign in page where you have to enter your username and password. Well, this page, you see, there is a basic incorporation, which is nothing but a numbered incorporation. You'll get a number. Custom incorporation is a named incorporation and then not for profit corporation. Again, as the name suggests. Now, I will be going through the custom incorporation step by step. Basic incorporation is very simple. If you have a look at how the form filling is. So on this page, First name, last name, telephone number, email and confirmation of email. Very simple. Once you enter all the details, you come to this section where you have two options, word name or numbered name. As I said, this is word name, which I'm showing additional fee, very nominal fee. You have to do one additional step for the proposed name that is going through a nuance report. During my time, ChatGPT was not there. Now we have ChatGPT. I would have definitely used ChatGPT to make it easy for me to fill this part of the application. Once we come to the next, what name do you propose? 
that name uh, uh, I entered and then what is uh, the distinguishing name from other business I definitely would have used chat GPT to make it easy and the business activity for better result this is optional once uh, this was entered and search was made all the list with similar name was given here okay whether it is registered whether it is active whether it is formalized all details will come here and you have to see that the name what you have chosen doesn't match with any of them exactly few variations here and there it's uh, okay and that's where the explanation comes in so once that is done the proposed name and the legal element uh, is selected you can see limited or incorporated corporation you have all these options listed you can go and check whichever you want you select that okay as the name once that is done name in the official language that also you select and then business activity i would have used chat gpt uh, had it been there but i did some research and i put those details do you wish to provide additional information about business activity whatever business i'm doing i just listed that and then specify the geography area where the corporation is likely to operate since it is a federal i selected entire canada clientele that again details were filled based on kind of customers i have i would have definitely used chat gpt had i had any confusion but i was able to successfully do that and explain how you came up with the distinct element of proposed name again you can enter how you came up with this name just a basic explanation i did and then the last one i entered not applicable as you can see okay i did not provide any supporting document and once this was done next on this page corporate name payment summary this remember i told about nuance report which i showed you and card has to be ready once uh, you go through this the proposed name the distinctive terms all those things will come in front you just go through that and proceed with the payment take time to come with the right name through this nuance report once that is done proceed and here you will get this page where you have to say yes if you have to proceed okay and then you enter the payment details once the payment details are done and you submit the corporate name received is there with you and it will also be there on your email id as you can see here now you click next and come to this page custom incorporation here select the province and choose the class of share i chose one class of share then coming to restricted share none and then minimum and maximum number of director 1 to 10 for restriction of business i chose none and other provisions once that was chosen as none then the incorporators on this uh, once you come down add individuals again here i entered my details it was very simple click here first name last name add and then next once this was done on this page custom incorporation you get this pdf form 1 article of incorporation that's you know available for you to download and for you to review print whatever you want to do okay make sure to read this carefully all these instructions caution everything and then go to next this is a interesting page the registered office address many of you have asked can i make house as the registered address one of the subscriber made a comment that be aware of the risk which is associated when you make house as the registered office so do your due diligence i don't have much answer here uh, you click next this is the reminder notice which is optional once you give your email address this will come to your email address i chose that and click next 
register now optional i chose ontario that's my location and click next once this was done the custom incorporation takes me to step 7 and here again uh, the fee and uh, all the details what's been filled i just went through this entire detail and had to give my consent so take time to read uh, very simple english once you go through this i consent i give the consent and then next so once that was done on this page whatever i had filled same details were shown to me just went through that on this page principal office uh, address i kept it same as registered office address enter the date coming to language i chose english and chief officer manager kept it as no person authorizing the filing enter the details and telephone number email address these are simple next once next is done coming to the last step that is proceed to payment all details i just went through and did not opt for ex express service okay if you want express service there is a box you can check and uh, which cost additional hundred dollar i did not go for that so it was only two hundred dollar and i had also done my nuance report which i showed you earlier so 200 plus that nuance report about 39 dollars that was already paid proceed yes and the process is now on page to do the payment so once the payment details are entered you have both interact as well as card option once you enter all the payment details the transaction is approved you can email the receipt and uh, once that is done you get an email your order is approved on this page your request has been submitted once this is done just wait for the email that your incorporation is done this email once it is there your incorporation is live based on nature of your business you may require hst gst payroll and licenses for gst hst and payroll we'll have to go to my business account with cra and once you log in your credentials will be able to do this online if you still find it difficult just call cra they are super helpful and they will help you set up so friends you saw how simple the setup was if you like my video do comment and share with as many as possible because sharing is caring thank you